Hello. I hate being able to see myself, even though I won't know if the battery is running out or not. Um, okay, I've just been doing some meditation, and um, I was feeling God for sure, and I got a new sort of feeling about family and that is God as our mother and father and all of us billions of children are all one family and that includes those in the spirit world and I could actually for the first time I felt what it feels like to be in that family and I got the feeling that the family feeling has been in a much darker place for a long, 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 long time. And it's been gradually getting better. And in the last sort of roughly three and a half years, it's improved even more so. That's the feeling I get. Because I think it's had more of God's attention as God was still popping out new souls into the universe and um, sorry when I do that what's happened is I've just said popping into the universe and then I said oh I wanted to add as well that I've been feeling that you know we're creating our own universe around us constantly as a reflection of the power of our soul and God has given us the dominion here to do that so kind of our universe reflects us and so the state of the world reflects us as well so yeah you know that's why I suddenly sort of jump into another thought and then you know just because there's other things as well and then once you've thought it you don't want to let it go <laughs> but not to take away you know the, the importance for me anyway of sort of feeling part of that family because I've got divorced and you know I still see my son but you know with his mum he's got a she's got a partner and he's got a sister and a little brother so you know it's more like a family with them so I sort of, with me it's sort of I feel like well my family just me and Francis and you know, my mum, but, you know, <laughs> not for a kid. For a kid, it's just me and Francis. That's the family here. But I really felt family, God, the mother and father, and the billions of souls. Some are listening, some aren't. Some are still in very, very dark places, and including the nipple. Some nipple out there thinks... <laughs> They are the, a mother to be suckled on, but if you took a look at that nipple closely, I think you'd find it's quite a disgusting thing, In and it's, it's a person in a very, very, very poor, degraded state. And the less people who imagine suckling on that and giving that love in that form, rather than the real God, which you will know, it's nothing bizarre like that. Um, yeah, and why did I bring that up? Because, part, you know, partly when I was doing today, it didn't last for long, but there was suddenly this sort of big nipple thing in front of me, and it sort of seemed to, for me to want to suckle it and imagine, and it think it's God. So it has a, or he or she, I don't know, has a, bizarrely wrong interpretation and if there's anyone who kind of goes into that thinking that that's God you know that would be bad as well but that will come away and there must be some people thinking that otherwise it would not still exist in that form and be confident that it's sort of God and it's sort of feeding it's getting love from people and that's how it's able to continue so that was only a short thing and 
you know, mostly the feeling God, it was a reminder of lesson one, to feel love and respond with love. And um, then when I could feel that that family can help me to love all my brothers and sisters more. And also the feeling that we're now halfway through the seven year trip. And so I'd say now we're in, if, if you can get into feeling this family feeling, it's going to feel nicer now than it has done. Because a lot of people are raising up. A lot of people are raising their levels of love. And it's happening in the spirit world much more and more. And it's because it's now getting God's attention. And, you know, also all the spirits who have been in a high place and including Jesus, you know, and what a good thing they've been doing, you know, relentlessly helping as well, which, you know, we should all be grateful for. They, if you like, would be our big brothers and sisters. And most of us would be somewhere in the middle because people who are born hundred hundreds thousand thousands of years ago have had longer to make errors and longer to go in the wrong path and some people have you know there are depths so low that have been explored you can go very very low and we don't all need to explore that we can only just see the condition of those who have gone there and see that no way I don't want to do that and you can just see conditions of people just, you know, not far below you and think, you know, you know where the right path is. And that it would be ridiculous now not to know which the right path is. To be more loving is definitely the right path. And it's happening. And so we've only, you know, it's good now. We're in, we're in a point where we're... Getting soon will be at a point where we're over the worst, and but because some people still won't listen, God is like you know the whole family is there, and God is just waiting for everyone to stop talking, and um, those who are ready and listening will be sort of slightly impatient for others who like still talking and it's going to be you know it's going to be God in a very loving way is going to call for the attention of everybody and then he's going to teach us something he she sorry he and she okay so I think that'll do hopefully the battery didn't run out and peace and love to everybody bye bye Thank you.